Oh, countries. Okay then, second question. Raise your hand if you think you find penguins living in hot countries. Yes, Straight away right. over here. We have a few down here and up the back there. Excellent to those of you who raised your hand. You are once again correct. Not uh, there's 17 species of penguin altogether. Only three of these will live in the ice and the snow all year round. Another three of them live in tropical areas such as South Africa and Australia. And the rest live in more temperate conditions such as our Humboldt penguin. And they come from South America where the climate can be either hot or cold. Okay then, third and final question. And I would like you to raise your hands if you think a penguin is a type of bird. Okay, we've got two hands descending on that end, two in the middle go at the front here. Quite a few of you actually, so well done to those of you who raised your hand, you're correct once again. Not a lot of people realise that penguins are birds, as they can't fly like birds. But they are in fact a flightless bird, and they're not the only flightless birds we have here at Colchester Zoo. So we have got another one, can anyone tell me what the other flightless bird we have is? If you know it, then shout it out. Emu. Not emu, it begins with O. Ostrich. 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 Excellent, well done. Okay, the ostrich is another flightless bird, and both the ostrich and the penguin have been adapted in many different ways to be able to live their lifestyle. And we'll be going into a little bit more about the Humboldt penguin when they come down. But for now, you all did a fantastic job, so well done. I will be bringing the penguins down to meet you now, but I would just like to remind you all to please remain behind this black line at all times. So can I just ask that you shuffle back a tiny bit for me there? You're all right there, just the ones right at the front. If you shuffle back a little bit for me. Excellent. Okay then. We also ask you don't try to touch or stroke any of the penguins. They have got very sharp beaks. And we really don't want anyone's fingers or roses being mistaken for fish today. And um, please keep the noise and the movement down to a minimum. Like I said, we have got five youngsters that are quite nervous. So we want them to stay down for a nice long time. We don't want to scare them back into the enclosure. <laughs>
Yeah. It's a lit that's often filled up to a round of footsie, which then dry up in the sun and turns into a chalky substance, which is better known as guano. The penguins can then burrow into this guano, fill their nests, and lay their eggs. Unfortunately, though, for the Humboldt penguin, the farmers over in Chile and Peru have realised that guano is a very good fertiliser for their crops. So what they've been doing is bulldozing through all of the nesting sites, which can obviously wipe out all the penguins, chicks and their eggs. They have been building some protective walls around some of these nesting sites, but unfortunately due to lack of maintenance and funding, some of these walls are starting to break down and erode. Now we have got a charity here at Colchester Zoo called Action for the Wild, and we've got to raise as much money as possible that we can send over to both Chile and Peru to try and help maintain and rebuild some of these walls. We have got a very well behaved penguin, she's right next to me here, she doesn't like fish but absolutely loves fair change. So if anyone would like to make a contribution after the feed, it would be very much appreciated, as every penny really does help. Now I mentioned earlier that the penguin is actually a flightless bird. They have been adapted in many different ways. With all their outfits today, I'm going to point out a few of those ways they've adapted. So I've already mentioned they've got very sharp beaks, perfectly adapted for catching their fish. But they also have a really heavy bone structure. We recently weighed one of our male penguins, and they actually weighed up to five kilos. So it's quite heavy, perfect for when the penguin wants 